Hello everyone. This is Phil from Body by Phil. Today we're going to touch on the Garage Gym series again. And we're going to talk about some real basic principles. And I think that's what makes it fun. So what we're going to cover today is the obliques, the core, and the glutes, believe it or not. And also there is a lower part of your back, which is part of that spinae, rectus spinae muscles that are across the back, which are same similar structure as what's part of your abdominal. So what we're going to do is we're going to work those right now. Okay. And I'm going to show you one exercise that you can do that use it that we do in the gym here. So Mama Deborah, she's behind the camera again. And what I'm going to do is we're going to show you some old fashioned twists. And what we're going to use is our single cable. Okay, this one's by TKO and so many manufacturers have these. And it allows us to be able to get a twist to work those obliques. And for us that are, you know, a half a century older, there's a lot of things I can do on the ground and on the floor, but honestly, I get down there and it's a lot harder to get back up. So I like to do a lot of my stuff for my core work, standing up or just sitting down. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start off and we're gonna do four different kinds of twists, four of them. The first one is just your standard upright twist. And I'm gonna show you, I get a kick out of every time I do this, I have a new client come in and I say, let's do a twist. And I want you to see if you can spot the difference. The first thing I'm going to do is a standard twist. And this is the way everybody starts. Now I have a weight here. Then it's 20 pounds and on, the, on this elliptic or on this uh, functional trainer. And you know I love functional trainers, okay? If you don't have one in the gym, and I sure hope you have one at where you live because these are so special. Multi-muscular movements that you can do with it. Just awesome. We spend most of our time actually spending, starting all of our routines every day on the functional trainer. So here we go. We're gonna do the twist, and I'm gonna start it the way everybody always does. Every time I bring in the train, you ready? So here they go. I say, okay, pull off. Now will you watch carefully. Here we go. Oh yeah, there the oh man, that feels so good, yeah. And they're twisting, yeah. And they do that, and I'm thinking, well that's funny. They moved the weight back and forth. They moved it. I didn't see them actually twist. Okay. They moved their arms. They did a great job of cheating themselves. So now here's the way we do it. Number one, you grab the cable. Okay. Square off your shoulders with your hands. In fact, Pull it and look between your hands. That's what you want to look right straight down between your hands. And then you're going to set your feet, get ready, and you're going to twist all the way and all the way lining up with your tricep. And if you don't think that this is working that whole core, your obliques, your abdominals, your, the back, and your glutes, Okay, and one more. Step back a little further so I'm off. I'm squared off. Okay, now I got a full trunk twist that I'm looking for. But we're not done. Oh gosh, no. Oh gosh, no. Because I have a functional trainer, I can change the direction so easy to do my twist. Now, now let's go down a little lower. I'm going to do the same twist, but now I'm going to twist up and line it along my tricep. Are you ready? You ready to do this with me? Okay, here we go. Shouldn't have done our two-hour workout before I did these. All right, here we go. Square off. Bring it up. Yeah. One. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's burning. Ah, two. Let's do one more. Okay, let's square up. And three. Okay, all right. You do 10 or 12 or 20 of those, and you're going to be working. Remember, don't jerk, don't accelerate. Just pull 
and don't forget to resist. So if I'm squared off, I pull, but I'm not done, that's one, that's not done one. I resist, and that's one. That's my count, okay? We're not done. Mm -hmm. That's two of them. Now we're gonna do the same thing. But now we're gonna pull down. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna square off. You following me? Keep your eyes, okay? Don't lose me, okay? All right, here we go. Square off and pull down. Oh, one. Okay, in fact, I'm gonna step into this one a little bit. Square off, pull, and then resist. Square off, three. Okay, and obviously, <laughs> I've been only showing you one side. Don't forget to turn around and do the movements the other way. I know you wouldn't. That would be ridiculous. I know you're a whole lot more intelligent than that. Okay, now, the last thing we can do is an overhead, okay? These are killers. I gotta, I gotta tell you, these are killers. Because you can pick any way along here to do it. Any way you want to do it. I'm going to go back to the original setting. And because these are so hard, I'm actually going to go up a little bit of weight. That's why I love a functional trainer. So easy to change the weight. Okay. Oh. What I'm going to do now is over my head. And I'm going to actually work this oblique, this whole side here, I'm going to pull it so hard. <sighs> and here we go. Step away, put your hands up in the air, lean over, and then pull. Ah, to your tricep. Back. Ah. You know, we were around when weightlifting was first starting to expand. Now it's out there and you want to get healthy and I want to help you get there. So make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. And don't forget, we still have the hammer grips here. Easy to work with, works great with a functional trainer, great for physical therapists, great for personal trainers, and also for those of you that like to work out with your own sweat. They fit easily in your workout bags. So they're always available for you. All right? So right now, for you, thank you for watching. Be good. Be safe. Don't forget, resist the strength training. Keep on pumping. Thank you.